everybody i'm alex and today i thought i'd do another um what's in the bag video this is going to be my um 100 up-to-date video with all the changes i've made to my bag since my last couple videos um just want to quickly say um i haven't really been posting much to this channel lately because i just don't really have time to film and most of my rounds so far have been pretty terrible because I, I don't really have time to practice so um i don't think you want to watch a guy not playing bad golf by any means, but just taking uh, really bad mis or making really bad mistakes that I normally don't make. But um, anyway, yeah. So sorry for lack of videos. I hope to get some up soon. Um, I'm gonna be going to the range in the next few days, so I plan to record some footage there, um, show you what I'm working on and all that good stuff. So until then, let's uh, start my what's in the bag video for or my new up to date what's in the bag video. So first off, for my wedges, um, the yeah, these haven't changed. The you know, the uh, Callaway. Uh, Xjaws series wedges. I have a 60 degree wedge and a 56 degree wedge. My 56 degree wedge has 12 degrees of bounce and the 60 degree, degree wedge has 8 degrees of bounce. Um, standard loft length and lies. They have the orange uh, New Decade multi compound grips. Um, love the multi compound grips, really good feeling. So those are my wedges, and then on to my irons. I uh, bought these a little while back. Um, they're the uh, Nike VR Pro Combos. Um, they have the, the blade irons from Pitching Wedge through the... Uh, pitching Wedge through 8, and then you have the kind of like this... I think they call it like a split cavity back from the uh, 7 to 5. And the 4 iron has this like uh, slit in it. I don't know if I can really get into it. There's that little slit right there. Um, I don't use a forearm very much, but um, it came with a three iron, but I traded that away. And um, yeah, so these guys have the stock Nike uh, Tor Velvet grips on them. I'm going to get these actually changed today to my uh, Orange New Decade multi compound grips. I bought some back in January, and these grips are finally starting to wear out. Um, there's a, the eight iron address. Uh, they have the uh, two temper. Uh, Dynamic Gold uh, S300 shafts. I don't really know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, so S300 shafts on them. A uh, lot of these clubs uh, really good. I guess in a few years, once these guys start to wear out, I'll buy a full bladed set. I could have bought a full bladed set at the time I bought these, but um, I decided not to just for the fact that I kind of wanted some forgiveness. And um, so, yeah, those are my irons, the Nike VR Pro combo and then on to my uh i guess go to my hybrid next i have the uh, tailor-made rescue uh 2009 hybrid if i can get this head cover off so yeah the uh 2009 hybrid four hybrid it's about 22 degrees loft um this one has a regular shaft because i've had this one for over a year my swing speed's gotten considerably faster so i don't really use this guy very much anymore because the shaft is too whippy and the ball usually goes way too high into the air for my liking. But um, I usually play this guy out of the rough. Um, I, it's either the hybrid or I usually play my 4 or 5 out of the rough. But I use the hybrid. It's a bit more forgiving the rough. Um, you know, bigger head, bigger face. Easier to get contact on the ball. But I do play this off the tee quite often if I'm having a bad day with many of my woods. Um, which right now is quite often because I don't get to practice very much. So I'm have a lot of pulls, which um, is kind of pissing me off, but uh, what can you do? Again, it has a stock, the stock shaft in it. All my woods have stock shafts and the orange New Decade multi-compound grip. And on to my 5 wood. I've had this guy for about a year now. It's the uh, Nike VR Pro um, straight fit 5 wood. 19 degrees aloft. Um, this one is also a regular shaft. Um, shafted club. Like I said at the time, I didn't have a very fast swing speed, but now my swing speed's increased quite a bit. Has that Project uh, X 5.5 uh, shaft, sock shaft that came in this guy at the time. And there is that address. You know, there's the back of it if you guys really care. And the face. Uh, head cover. I don't think you guys really care about that too, too much. Just slide that back on. Okay, now I just got my new three wood actually just yesterday. Um, I'll pull this head cover off. So I got the uh, Nike Covert 
uh, three wood, 15 degrees loft. Um, like I said, I just got it yesterday, so I haven't really hit any balls off it. You can see the face is pretty clean. It still has the little barcode sticker on it and this stupid little made in China sticker on it. But, um, but yeah, I was at Golf Town yesterday, and um, I was trying out the Callaway X Hot fairway wood and the Cobra Amp Cell fairway wood, and I just, I don't know, I just, I like, as you can tell, I like Nike stuff. And um, I've always been heavily into Nike, and um, I have the red uh, multi-compound grip on it, and then the, the stock uh, Tiro Cage uh, 60 gram stiff flex shaft. If I can get it to focus on that. Might be a bit hard. My camera isn't the best at uh, focusing shots. There you go. 60 gram stiff flex shaft, Mitsubishi Rayon Tiro Cage shaft. Um, picture of the back again. You know, three wood, no adjustability in the, in the uh, my fairway woods. I don't really want locks. Well, I guess that's kind of a lie there. My five wood has adjustability, but um, I, I I really like the way this one felt. I plan to hit this, like I said, when I go to the range either today or tomorrow. So we'll see what happens with that. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this head cover on with one hand. So put that down. And uh, so yeah, there's the head cover. And then onto my driver. It's again, not a part of the uh, Nike Covert line. Uh, this is the Nike the Covert uh, Tour driver. Uh, had this guy for a few months now. Basically when it came out, that's when I bought it. Um, use it a bit now, getting marks in the face. I have it set to, uh, I'm zoom in, focus. Yeah, there we go. So eight and a half right, I have it set on to. Um, I find with my shots, I I have a really, I hit really up on the ball, like an ascending blow. So I have this the loft set all the way down. Otherwise, if I have it set to about, let's say like ten and a half, I'm putting it way, way into the air, and I'm losing a lot of distance. It's too much carry and not enough roll. So. Um, like I said, this guy also has the uh, stock uh, cure cage uh, shaft, 60 gram, stiff flex. Um, it's it's standard. It's the standard length right now. I think it's the thing. The standard length for this guy is like 45 inches. So I ended up choking down quite a bit because I find it's just it's too uncontrollable. Like I slice it pretty bad when I hold it at the very top. If I hold it down here, about halfway down the grip, I find it's a lot more manageable. So um, I'm not too crazy about cutting graphite shafts. I don't really know why. I'm just kind of afraid it's going to like splinter and wreck the shaft. So, um, so yeah, I have it set to that. So I just I hold it down here. It just makes it about 43 inches. And I lose, you lose a bit of power when you, short, when you uh, shorten the shaft. But, but um, I like the more of the control. Um, I can hit this thing about 265, 275, um, depending on how well I hit it, if I hit it in the middle. I find this driver, though, if you're interested in buying the Covert driver, I find the Tour model to be more forgiving on miss hits than the Performance driver. I don't really know if that's just me. I found when I was testing both these drivers out that the, the Tour model Covert driver, um, on my miss hits, I was hitting it still like 250, 260. With the Performance driver, when I had miss hits on the toe or the heel, I was only hitting it 230, 240. So I don't know if that has to do with the shaft, if that has to do with um, the spin characteristics of each driver. I don't really know, I'm not too sure, but like I said, I found this guy to be the most forgiving out of the two, which is really surprising. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in buying this driver, I would highly recommend um, looking into the Tor uh, model. Now oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to put this head cover back on, put it back on, put it back in my bag. And then the final piece of the puzzle, it's the most important club in your bag, is the flat stick. And I have the uh, Odyssey White Ace Number no. Nine putter. I've had this guy for well over a year now. Um, the best part I've used, I don't know, I haven't used many putters. I I like to stick with the stuff that works, so I'm not really a big fan of switching. But I have the white uh, Golf Pride putter grip on. Um, other than that, obviously it's a putter, so everything is pretty much. Pretty much the same. So um, yeah, that's the uh, my putter. I love it a lot. And 
there is a back if any of you are interested if I can get that a light and then there's the back if you really care what the back looks like and then my little head cover for it slider back on and then um, the ball I play if I can find my ball pocket I play the, um, I've been playing these actually for a while now, but I play the, uh, the Nike One Resin X ball. Um, I find this ball spins a lot on the green. Um, pretty crazy how much it spins. Um, really good for driving. Um, especially in and around the greens, it, it doesn't spin as much as the 20XI. I bought a pack of those when they were half price last year, and I don't, I'm not crazy about buying $60 golf balls, but when they're on sale for half price, I, I'll usually buy them. But anyway, I bought the 20 XI's, um, XI ball, golf ball last year, and it doesn't. It spins more than these guys, obviously, but these guys, for whether they're like 35 bucks for a pack of 12, I mean, you can't go wrong, and um, just absolutely, absolutely uh, love this ball. Again, you can see I'm really into Nike golf, ball, golf products. I, I love what they do. So, um, so yeah, that's the that's the ball I play, the Nike uh, One Resin X ball, and that's pretty much it. I don't think you really care about tees. You know, my glove that I use is just your standard old uh, uh, Nike. Uh, I think it's called a dry fit glove or whatever. Uh, no, gloves a glove, whatever. So, um, so yeah, that's my golf bag, guys. Um, if you have any questions. Uh, Leave the questions in the comment section below. Um, like I said, I plan to get out and um, record a rain session pretty soon here. And I'll definitely post it up for you guys to see. So um, until next time, I'm Alex, and I'll talk to you all later.